Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to Jura TV. I am Jay Leb and this is Football Manager 2021, the Youth Academy Challenge Day with Atletico Trate Portugal. Things are not going well and I'm terrified. But if you like these kind of videos, be sure to like and share this video and to subscribe to the channel. It really does help me a lot. So I've come to the realization that maybe my tactic might have been figured out. And how do I know this? Let's just go through the games since we last met, and I think they'll speak for themselves. The first game we had was a 2-1 defeat against Academica, and we actually equalised after they scored the opening goal for a penalty. Ivo Diaz finds Jada Silva, who plays us in the middle to find Sakinha, who hits it on the volley. A very good finish. It's just a shame that we didn't hold on, and we could see this in this corner. Now, I like to think we were a bit unlucky here, but luck is not going to win us any games, and we lost 2-1. We had as many chances, if not more chances, than Academica, and quite frankly, I feel like we should have got at least a point here. It's just a shame we didn't. We then lost 1-0 to Olivier Renz, and we honestly were dismantled here with the worst team by some distance. Varela scored the only goal of the game, but quite frankly, we could have, and perhaps even should have lost by more than one goal. They had 20 shots to our four. They dominated us in every sense of the word. And quite frankly, I felt slightly insignificant after this match. I really did. We then hosted Caldas and lost 4-1. They scored the opening goal from a penalty spot. And we're seeing a lot of penalties a lot as of late. And I don't like the fact we're seeing so many penalties. They make it 2-0 just before half time after Indai scores that effort. And yeah, we're not really doing a lot to defend ourselves here. It's 3-0 inside the 70th minute of the game, unfortunately for us, despite the fact we get the ball back briefly. Simeos plays this in, and that is a really good finish. Nothing you can really do. We do get a goal back, thanks to Jana Silva being found by Elvis. It's a really good ball. I gotta say, keepers out of position here, so it's a simple tap in for the most part if he gets on target. But unfortunately for us, we don't do ourselves justice, and we don't really allow ourselves to take advantage of the fact we scored because Endai scored his second of the game, and we suffered our worst of it this season so far. Kadez absolutely destroyed us, and we were terrible. We really were. Ricardo Silva, 6.1 rating. Martins, 6.2 rating. Silva, 6.0 rating. Lopez, 6.2. Tamiel, 6.2. Cabrita, 6.2. A lot of players were getting fine in this game. And I am not a happy boy. They had three times as many shots as we did. And they deserved their win. They really did. We then lost 2-1 to Baronens after taking the lead. So this feels even worse. Because we actually had ourselves in front at one point. Janice Silva finds Evando Ballas who scored the opening goal. I, I, I honestly thought, of that goal, oh, we're going to do well, we're going to do something productive. No, we could see the goal just before half-time. Jar Jar with a finish, and then 55 minutes in, they score again. It's just a simple. Keeper's caught out of position, and it's an open goal for Fenice to score in, and we didn't deserve anything like this. So, I think with Rodriguez, I feel a little sorry for, because I kind of threw him in the deep end here, and I'm actually giving him first-team football now. But we had to rotate, and despite the fact that we had a weak inside, we actually did better than they did in terms of chances created and, and chances on target. We just didn't take advantage of it, and we had the worst team in that regard, so we won to Baroness. What did shock me, though, was this 2-0 victory against Trofense. Yes, they had a man sent off his side 50 minutes, but we scored the opening goal thanks to Ricardo Silva finds Jenna Silva to make it 1-0, and then it's the second half, they were down to 10 minutes at this point already, Evandro Barros, really good ball out wide to Ricardo Silva, who plays as a cross, fires down to Silva, it's a tap him. As long as he gets his head to it, it's a tap in, and he did. So, it's 2-0, our only win of January, and we lost every other game. So that's, a, that's, that's something to look forward to. Oops, spoilers ahead for that, but we were terrible this month, we really were. We then lost 2-0 to Farfi, two goals in three minutes was the killer for us. Pedro, with the ball cross, honestly... That's just annoying because Lopez makes a mistake, I think, and Furtado with the finish to make it 1-0. And then two minutes later, they score again. Pedro finds Furtado, finds Abreu, and yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the kind of goals we're casino right now. We don't seem to know how to defend at the moment, and it's very frustrating, especially when we have more chances than they do. But we just don't do a lot with it. So there you go. A 2 0 defeat. Another game where actually we felt like we had a chance and the two under figures Muffa I felt was harsh. Varin her plays across, finds Bruno Suva because David not a down to him, so it's 1 0 there. But in the second half, we get an equalizer. Anton Asir plays it across to find Sakinha, and yeah, it's a good finish from Sakinha. 
So for Sokinha with the finish with the header, his third of the season. Oh, oh, we're not seeing David's goal. Apparently, it's so embarrassing. We can't see David's goal. That's annoying. Oh, we can see it. This is the goal. So this makes it 2-1. I felt so hard done by by this goal. We were really tired, and I think we were just knackered as a result. And that goal went in. 2-1. Martha with the winner late, late on. And I feel like we sh should have got more than that. But apparently, it's not. Apparently, we just didn't deserve any love from the FM God. So... There you go, rotating again, and it's painful. It really is painful right now to play this game and to play this save. Especially now that we are down in 19th place, and we have lost 8 games, I think, in the last... Well, not 8 games. How many games have we lost? In fact, we have lost 8 in the last 10, and we've only got 4 points in that period of time. That is relegation form candidate, and I'm very scared right now. I honestly think we are going to go down if we don't pick this up sooner rather than later. We got the best defense in the lower half of the table. Not the best defense in the league now. We're giving that up, quite frankly. We've got the third best defense in the league. But we've also got the worst attack. So that's an issue. We need another seven wins. Seven more wins. We have 50 points, which should be safe. In fact, if I look at the past couple of years, I'd say that 40 points should see us safe. So we only need about four more wins in that regard. But I'm not going to just say... Oh, we can get more four more wins and we'll be safe. Given how the teams in the bottom half are done and the lower couple of places are done, I'm not taking anything for granted, quite frankly, because I know that if we do, we will go down. And I don't want to go down. I want to survive. We got Victoria de Tutapau next, though, who have had a decent record as of late. They've only lost one of the last five. We've lost four of the last five. And they have been good. So we need more points to get ourselves away from the relegation zone. I always said. At the beginning of the season, relegation fight. We're always in a relegation fight because we can have a really bad run of form at any point of the season. I don't think I said this, but I should have said this at any point. When we had a really good start, we were in 10th place after, what, 13 matches? I am not saying we're safe until we mathematically sorted out, is what I should have really said then. And it's proven my point here by saying this. So, we're taking on them. Victoria's is talked about. We need to get 50 plus points just to make sure we're mathematically safe. But I can't really justify anything right now and say, yeah, we're going to be safe, we're going to be safe. But either way, we're going to take on our opponents today. We've got to tinker the tactic. Now, I've tinkered this a little bit, and I've made a halfback in the DM position now, and I've got Silver playing as a pressing forward. I know it's not the smartest thing in the world to do that, but I feel like I might need to tinker this a little bit. This tactic that I'm going to show you is not the tactic I use, but it's similar, very similar to the tactic I use to get promoted in... Liga Pro with C9 actually got me promoted from Serie B2, but it was with the wingers further up the pitch. I don't think I want to justify doing that right now. And even if I could probably do this formation and it'll work, I don't want to take the risk right now of just going ahead and say, yeah, we could do this, we could do that. We could bring Sahing her on the pitch as well for that. And then even Kyra could play for that position too. I don't want to run that risk of finding myself in a situation. If this doesn't work for. I don't know, some games down here. If we don't get a win against Monhens, then I think we'll have to switch to that 4-4-2. I don't want to switch to the 4-4-2, but I might have to in the very near future because I am cautious now about the fact we are dropping points left, right, and centre, and we're struggling to maintain points. That's nice. Also, halfback, only two players can play it, so that's also a reason why I haven't gone for that role anytime soon. I wouldn't be surprised if I have to do it at some point, but I'd rather not have to worry about it. But if I do have to go over it, then we'll just have to see what happens from here. Either way, though, we're going to see how we do in this game. I expect to have problems because we've been having problems a lot this season. And I don't like the fact that we're doing so badly. So let's see how we do, shall we? They've got a goal kick. They've had more trust in us too. And I am concerned as we don't get the ball. But here we go. Smeo on the ball now. Plays it back to the keeper with Duiguez. So... I think what the problem is, I'm also trying to throw in too many youngsters too quickly. Lopez is now our best player too, so that's annoying. Now, our defender's our best player, but here's Barros on the ball. Cuts inside. I don't know why he's cut inside, but he can play it back to Velvis, has done. And Diaz now on the ball, who's also aging. We've also got an aging squad, which again is not great for our chances here. Ricardo Silva, Anton Asir, plays across. Evandro Barros puts it wide. Should have got none target, please. Come on. We've got... Free kick here, Rodriguez will play it to Lopez. We are going to keep playing to the fullbacks because I think it's the right thing to do here. Here's Martins. So, Elvis, Ricardo Silva has got a knock. I don't know how serious it is, but we're going to 
see what we can do with it anyway. Anthony see it now. Plays it across. He just ran, this, that was run away from the ball. I, I feel like he just ran away from the ball. And now it is Jamie on the ball. And don't give away a penalty. Plays it across. Oh, because it's a goal. Bowers ran away from the ball in the area. Why did he run away from the ball is my question. Why? What? I'm more annoyed about that than anything else. I'll be completely honest with you. But we should have defended this better. Colin gets there too quickly. And Simeon does not deal with it. That's annoying. Oh, that's annoying. Come on. At least give me something to work with, please. Oh, God damn it. Immediately, there's a corner. If we could see from this corner, I'd be so disappointed. Apparently not. Yes. Offside. Thank God. Oh, also far for now losing. That is wonderful news. We are losing the team that is in the red. Oh, for goodness sake. Yeah, that's just, this is not great. How far was he off? He's clearly off, but... I... Ugh, oh, God. This is bad. Um, Are we going to get relegated? I think we're going to get relegated. Okay, I think the 4-4-2 might not work because they've already got chances and they've got a free kick. They've got to score from this free kick, aren't they? What's the score from this free kick? Yep, they've scored from the free kick. All right, this is not working. I tried to change something. It's not worked. Let's go attacking. I've got nothing to lose anymore because I just don't care right now. So, yeah, we're losing 2-0. This is wonderful stuff, isn't it? Nothing's working. Nothing I do is working and that is just bad. That is bad. That is just really, really bad. What the actual hell are we doing? The team is rubbish. We deserve to go down. Elvis on the ball now. Finds Jose. Okay. Elvis on the ball again. Martins. Geno Silva. Sakinha. Chance. Skull. We can score. We just don't do it consistently enough. I should have gone for... I got, should have gone for Baz the entire time, for goodness sake. All right. That's his, fifth, that's his fourth goal. And the two strikers working together have done a good job for me there. So it's good to know that the two strikers can link up nicely and get a goal. That's just, it's good. It's promising, right? It's really promising. The worst part is we actually had the bear at stew and more chances. We just didn't do anything with it. So disappointing. So, so disappointing. Yeah, we deserved that defeat. We really did. Braga's B team actually got a win too very late on. And we are still six points clear of the relegation zone, but only six points clear of the relegation zone. I am not a happy boy. This is going badly, isn't it? So, should I be prepared for relegation? So yeah, this is our season right now. Also, Lusitana and Larosa are almost certainly going up as champions. There's, I don't think they're going to be dropping points right now or being called by anyone. So that's good for them. Good season for their point of view. Top four are in a battle for promotion as well. So from second to fourth, that's a promotion fight right now. And we are in a relegation fight. There's no mistake in it right now. I can't deny anymore. We are looking to try and survive this year. And I don't think we can. Not in the form we are in right now. This is the worst form I think I've ever been on. And that is saying a lot. I've gone 13 games without win. But I've never seen my sides play this badly before. sakinda has got 2-2 two and two as well. So maybe he should be playing more often. But I don't know what to do. I honestly don't know what to do. I am thinking I'm going to take a day away from the save. Just to get my bearings together. And to... Keep my head and just to see what I can do with it. I really am just trying to figure out if I really want to continue to save. So that's nice. Either way, I am going to end this here. Hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves and that you'll like and share this video and that you'll subscribe to the channel. Really does help me a lot. Let me know what you think I should do in this situation because I don't know what I can do. I'm just struggling for ideas. My players are rubbish. They're the worst in the league for some time. And I think the quality of the team is finally catching up to me and i think if we somehow survive then it's a bloody miracle it really is a bloody miracle if we survive so anyway until next time goodbye and well good night